Well, for the sake of making this the weirdest LTAB bout we've ever done, uh, my name is Shel Silverstein, and I will be reading you a poem entitled Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout Would Not Take the Garbage Out. Yes! Clap along if you know. Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout would not take the garbage out. She'd scour the pots and scrub the pans, candy the yams and spice the hams, and though her daddy would scream and shout, she simply would not take the garbage out. And so it piled up to the ceilings, coffee grounds, potato peelings, brown bananas, rotten peas, chunks of sour cottage cheese that filled the can and covered the floor, cracked the window and blocked the door. With bacon rinds and chicken bones, drippy ends of ice cream cones, prune pits, peach pits, orange peel, gluppy glumps of cold oatmeal, pizza crust and withered greens and soggy beans and tangerines and crust of black burned buttered toast and grisly bits of beefy roast. The garbage rolled on down the hall, it raised the roof, it broke the wall. I mean, greasy napkins, cookie crumbs, globs of gooey bubble gums, cellophane from green bologna, rubbery blubbery macaroni, peanut butter caked and dry, curdled milk and crusts of pie, moldy melons, dried up mustard, eggshells mixed with lemon custard, cold french fries and rancid meat, yellow lumps of cream of wheat. At last the garbage reached so high and that it finally touched the sky and all the neighbors moved away and none of her friends would come to play. And finally, Sarah Cynthia Stout said, okay, I'll take the garbage out. But then of course, it was too late. The garbage reached across the state from New York to the Golden Gate and there in the garbage did she hate. Poor Sarah met an awful fate that I cannot right now relate because the hour is much too late. But children, remember Sarah Stout and always take the garbage out. Yeah.